Hello, I'm Dave, and welcome to Literary Listening, a little project of mine in which I choose a work of literature from the public domain and try to record a performative reading of it. It's a good exercise for me in developing my chops as a voice talent, and it keeps me engaged with literature that I love. Literature has gotten me through some pretty difficult stretches and has contributed immensely to my personal development. I cannot think of a more satisfying reward for my effort than if I am able to share something of that with you through this project. This installment is exceptionally short, but no less powerful for its brevity. It is a poem, which is something that I've yet to post here. But after having done this one and thoroughly enjoying the doing of it, there will be more to come. Robert Frost is among my favorite poets. That may be cliché for a native New Englander, but there you have it. When I think of him, the first work that comes to mind is his poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, and that is exactly why I didn't record that one first. It already gets too much attention, but justly so. I love it, and it was the first poem that I could recite off the top of my head, and I probably will record it sometime soon. After Apple Picking is the second one that comes to mind, and upon deciding that this would be the poem I would record, I was so internally motivated to do it that I couldn't get another thing done until I had. Let me know what your favorite Robert Frost poem is, or whether you'd like me to post a reading of Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by leaving a comment below or by email. The reading of After Apple Picking is on the next post. You can click on the card on the screen to jump right to it, or if you used the playlist option, it'll simply be up next. A quick side note, though. I noticed some recent viewership came from searches for material related to English classes that have no doubt been forced into a distance learning format. If you have any requests for specific literary texts read aloud that I can read without committing copyright infringement, please let me know in the comments or send me an email. If there is something I can do to facilitate learning under these new circumstances, I would be happy to contribute. I hope that whoever you are, wherever you are, and whatever your situation is, you are as well as you can be in these trying times. Thanks for listening.